This is uh, example five of chapter nine, uh, effective stress. And for this example, we are given a nine meter layer of stiff saturated clay. So we have this clay layer sitting on top of a layer of sand. So we have sand layer at bottom. And this is something we discussed in the past. So the sand is under what we call artesian pressure. So this is the artesian condition. So you have, you have basically an impermeable layer pressing a permeable layer. So the pore pressure within that sand layer is going to be higher than hydrostatic pressure. So the pore pressure for this ex example is effectively given because you know the height of water rise in a sand pipe for that sand layer. So we know it's the pore pressure in the sand layer is going to be, um, let's call this U, it's going to be this 3.6 meter of water height times unit weight of water. In SI system, it's 9.81 okay so we know the uh, pore pressure in the sand layer and we want to find the maximum depth of depth of cut edge that can be made in the clay and the most critical location for this uh, excavation is this point a here okay the reason being if you look at the effective stress at point a so sigma a prime is total stress sigma a minus pore pressure which is uh, basically 3.6 times 9.81. And at the bottom of this excavation, as you remove soil on top, you're basically reducing this sigma A. So you're moving the weight on top, so the sigma A decreases. And the pore pressure UA stays constant. And so the most critical point is when this effective stress equals to zero. Okay. So if we write uh, so point A, so this is the most uh, critical point as you're basically removing uh, soil on top of point A, the most uh, critical point. Okay. And at this point, if we call the uh, maximum depth of cut H, so the total stress sigma A after this h uh, this cut of depth h is 9.9 9 minus h so that's how much soil is left above point a 9 po minus h times the saturated unit weight of clay okay so that's the total stress at point a after that excavation then the pore pressure we said that's basically just 3.6 times unit weight of water. Okay. So when you excavate such that the effective stress at point A becomes zero. So that's the basically the maximum depth of cut H that you can make. So this is sigma A minus UA. Okay. If you substitute these two expressions, so you have nine po nine minus H times uh, saturated unit weight of clay, which is 18, minus 3.6 times unit weight of water in SI system, 9.81. Okay. And this whole thing equals to 0. So at limited state, uh, sigma A prime equals to 0, as I mentioned. So you can solve for H. And H in this case is 7.04 meter. Okay, so that's uh, the maximum depth of cut before sigma A prime becomes zero. 